What's up, you freaking geniuses? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick intro into exponents, right? They're not too bad. All right, so what is an exponent? Let's go back to addition and multiplication, okay? So just like we have two plus two plus two, right? That's equal to six. So there's a shorthand way of writing this, right? And that's with multiplication. That's simply two times three, right? And that's equal to six. So this is equivalent, is an equivalent statement to this, right? But the multiplication, that's just a shorter way of doing it. Instead of writing out two plus two plus two plus two, plus, right? Forever, we just write a multiplication sign. Now we can do the same thing with multiplication, okay? So if I wanted to know what two times two times two is, well, two times two is four, and then four times two is eight, right? But we have a shorthand way of doing this also. How do we do it? With exponents, okay? So we would just write two raised to the third power, or two cubed is another way of writing it. And this is also equal to eight, okay? So this is a shorthand version of this, but they are both equivalent statements, okay? So that's all an exponent is. Okay, and one last thing to point out about this is that this big number right here, so in this example, it would be number two. This is called the base, okay? This is your base number. So two is the base. And then this little number up here, that's called your exponent or your power. All right, so let me give you a few examples and a couple rules, and then I think they're gonna start making a lot more sense. Okay, so just a couple easy examples first. So if we had five squared, or five raised to the second power, this is the same thing as five times five, right? Which is just equal to 25. Okay, if we had five cubed, or five raised to the third power, just two different ways of saying it, this would be five times five, times five, okay? Five times five, that's equal to 25, right? And then 25 times this last five is 125. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, right? Not too bad. So now let's do it with negative numbers. Okay, so what if I had negative five raised to the second power or negative five squared? Well, this is equal to negative five times negative five. So, we have a negative times a negative, right? So that means our answer is gonna be positive, right? So then we just have five times five, which is 25, okay? So negative five squared is equal to positive 25. Okay, what if we had negative five cubed? Okay, so this is equal to negative five times negative five times negative five. Well, let's see, we have negative five times negative five, that's positive 25, so we have positive 25, right, times negative 25. What is that equal to? Well, a positive times a negative is equal to a negative. And we already saw from this example, right, that this is equal to 125. Okay, so here's your first rule with exponents. Okay, this is specifically for negative numbers, okay? As you can see, this is a negative number. This is a negative number, right? This is a positive number, that's a positive number, okay? So this is for negative numbers. So negative number rule, okay? And this is gonna be strictly regarding the exponent. Okay, so when you have an even numbered exponent, your answer is gonna be positive, okay? And when you have an odd numbered exponent, your answer is going to be negative. Negative. So let's look at the example we just did. Okay, so let's look at this one first. Okay, we have a 2 as our exponent. 2 is an even number, so our answer was positive. Why is that? Because whenever you have an even numbered exponent, right, and remember this is for negative numbers, these negative signs will always have another negative sign to cancel out with. Okay, so for example, if we wrote negative five raised to the fourth power, right, that's an even number also, we'd have negative five times negative five times negative five times negative five, right? So this negative sign will cancel out with this one, and this negative sign will cancel out with this one, okay? So our final answer is gonna be positive. 
because all the negative signs cancel out with one another. Because remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So now let's look at this second example, okay? So when we have an odd number as our exponent, our answer is going to be negative, like it was here, okay? So why is that? Because there's always gonna be one leftover negative sign. Okay, so in this example, this negative sign canceled out with this negative sign, right? So we had a positive 25, but we still had one negative sign left over right here, right? And remember, a positive times a negative is a negative, okay? So this is gonna be a useful little rule to write down or memorize, okay? Because you're gonna be able to solve a lot of these exponent problems a lot quicker. And just remember, this little rule is specifically for negative bases, negative bases, negative bases, okay? This is not negative exponents. These are not negative exponents. That's not what this is. These are negative bases. Very important to make that distinction. Okay, so let's do one last little example to drive that point home. Okay, so if I had negative one raised to the 78th power, 78 is an even number. That means every negative here is gonna cancel out with another negative evenly. They're all gonna have a partner. They're all gonna have a pair. So this will simply equal positive one, okay? If we had negative one raised to the 79th power, okay? So 79 is an odd number. So that means this answer is going to be negative because there's gonna be one negative sign left over. So this is just gonna be negative one. So like I said, just write it down, write that little rule down or try to memorize it because uh, it's gonna be really, really helpful for your homework or your test going forward. Okay, so let's just cover a couple more examples. Okay, what if we had eight raised to the first power? Okay, so anything raised to the one or anything raised to the first power is just itself. Okay, so eight raised to the first power is just eight. Okay, negative 26 raised to the first power, this is just negative 26. Okay, so that's easy enough, right? What if we had, and we're gonna get into zero. Zero is fun. Okay, so what if we had zero raised to the first power? Well, that would just be equal to zero, right? Anything raised to the first power is just itself. What if we had zero squared? Well, this is equal to zero times zero. And what's zero times zero? Well, that's just zero, right? So zero raised to any number, right? Zero raised to the hundredth power, this is just equal to zero. Okay, and one more important rule that I wanna cover is raising a number to zero. Okay, what do I mean by that? So what if I had five raised to the zero power? Well, this would just be equal to one. Any number raised to the zero power is equal to one. So if I had negative 39 raised to the zero power, this is equal to one. Okay, if I had zero raised to the zero power, this is also equal to one. Okay, so I know this can sometimes get confused with this, so I'm just gonna rewrite it here real quick. So I'll rewrite this one over here, zero raised to the first equals zero. Okay, so for these two examples, an easy way to remember this is just remember that, remember the opposites, okay? so. If we're raising it to the one, it's gonna be a zero. If we're raising it to a zero, it's gonna be one. If you got another method you use to memorize it, definitely go with that, but that's just a quick little way I would always use. All right, guys, so that's your quick introduction to exponents. I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up. If you still got any questions, I'll definitely try and help you out. Just leave them in the comment section below. I have plenty more topics on exponents. The next one I'm gonna cover is negative exponents. And then I think you're gonna have like a good base going forward with all this exponent stuff, all right? So if you need to check that out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.